Hey everybody. So my after school club children and I have been incubating about 15 um, quail eggs for about um, eight, this is day 18 now, in our classroom. And I came in this afternoon to find several of them hatched. And I'm pretty excited because um, the original chicks that my hubby and I bought were um, Manchurian which are very hard to find now. Um, I, I actually haven't been able to find them anywhere. So I, I have about five of those left um, out of all my quail. That's all I have is men, five Manchurian or Italian quail, which are the golden colored. And um, so I grabbed some of their eggs to put in this incubator along with a few celadon because I wanted the kids to see the blue eggs too. And it looks like we have, um, so far, at least two of the yellow chips. I, I won't know for sure what they're gonna look like as they get older. Um, but these are very, very light colored chips, these two, so I'm pretty excited about that. There's one of them right there. And the other one is stuck in his egg right now, but he'll be all right once he gets out. Look at how light colored and yellow that one is. This is the first time in all the chicks we've had um, since our original batch of six quail that I've gotten any this color again. So this is pretty exciting. And the children haven't gotten home from school yet, so they don't even know what they're gonna come well they have expectations that there might be chickies when they come in but they don't know that there are yet so I can't wait to see what the kids um what their reaction is going to be this has been pretty exciting for them not only have they never seen um quail eggs or chicks before this whole experience their parents have been really excited too um but they've never seen the whole incubation process at all so this has been pretty exciting for the kids so which has made it exciting for me so i cannot wait plus we had the memorial day weekend and i kind of messed that up because patch day was supposed to be yesterday i didn't realize it was going to be on the holiday so the kids were super worried that they were going to miss out on this whole thing with the chicks hatching so i'm super glad they're a day late um we were kind of hoping that was going to happen because mine usually hatch on day 17 and um, they are hatching on day 18. Um, I kept the humidity a little bit lower and um, maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know, but I'm just glad that they're hatching today and the kids are going to get to see, hopefully, hopefully they're going to get to see some still hatching when they get here because it's in, they're going to be here in another hour. If nothing else, you're going to get to see these eggs in here, still the shells that are broken open and these newly hatched chicks. So pretty exciting for the kids. And um, when I get home, I'm going to be able to show you guys too. I'll get another video. I do have another broody quail um, sitting on eggs again. So looks like we're at Cricket's Chirps Farm, gonna have on a pretty regular basis now broody quail, which is also very exciting because um, it's gonna help me out a lot on not having to incubate these babies all the time. It's another one that's got its shell stuck to it. But remember the rule is no opening the incubator to help babies that are stuck um, because you risk losing the ones that are still not hatched yet with a little heart on that eggshell, guys. Um, yeah, there's one other here in the corner who's stuck. We can't really get that in the camera, apparently. He's got his whole bottom stuck in his egg. We aren't gonna be able to, he's gonna have to figure that out on his own. Otherwise you shrink wrap the ones that are still in their eggs. But they should be okay. They usually figure it out. Yeah. Like, there it is. 
That one over there has um, got most of its body out, so it'll probably be okay. By the time they all hatch, I'll be able to help it out if it's not, doesn't have that shell off of it. And it's got a bunch of helpers over there. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you guys what's going on. 